So yes, those little changes when we make, you know, little changes makes our life, we feel it's different. Whether it could be waking up a little early than before, you know, if you have the habit of waking up at six, six o'clock, just wake up half an hour early or uh, 45 minutes early and see, you feel different, you know, little changes. Say like you keep an affirmation that, you know, now onwards, I don't want to react to this particular thing. And when you start doing differently, you know, different way of thinking pattern, even you start with one thought, you feel your life is actually shifting. I don't have to sit and think, I don't know when it's going to shift. Those little steps will make them shift. So that's why never under, underestimate even one thought. That one thought can make a difference. Like even when people, you know, when they make changes to their diet, they instantly feel it's a different life, right? So experiment and see, experimenting is very, very important. Practice is very important. We listen to a lot of things, but when it comes to practice is very little. Like they say, the example of a student, no? So teacher gives him 100%, right? The student listens, say 75%. Uh, when it comes to his homework, right, he did 50%. <laughs> and then when it comes to studying, 25%. Now when it comes to examination, what did I write in the examination? 5%. <laughs> so it's like that. Sometimes, you know, we give very, very little um time and attention to our think to our you know learning and studying and practicing so practice becomes very important if i don't practice what happens is i have learned this before i know this but i really don't know it I'm, and why is why is that i'm unable to practice it so don't see practice as a big mountain in front of me, you know, big mountain, how am I going to practice? So it's always like that. Anything I want to start, first I create an, a layout of it, right? Anything you begin, like a big task you're going to become. So first you have to put dots, like just a layout, how this is going to work. And then you join all the dots. Right. First, if even like say for example, right, if you have to prepare for a topic, I'm giving my own example, right? right? It's like if if you have to prepare for a topic, first you just put like what it is, just bullet points, or you know you pick up few words, then you start to join those words. Anything in life, even practices like that. So don't see practice as something very heavy, something, you know, I can't do it. No, begin with something that is very small. And that's why they say practice makes one perfect. perfect. If there is no practice, I cannot, there is no shortcut to perfection. So every practice is a stepping stone towards my perfection. So practice, practice is very, very, very important, right? And so in today's topic, we will be learning about never give up what? Never let go. We always learn let go, let go. But there is something we should never let go. And that is our determination. Anything you're doing, anything. The thought of determination is the fuel that makes me go. Right. Determination is that fuel. Determination is that light. Which allows me to move forward in life. Any task I am doing, anything I want to accomplish, that's why it is said determination is the key to 
success. Success. Mm. It drives me to success. So never ever give up determination. In Hindi, it's a beautiful word called drudata. So determination is that key to explore and to unleash those potential treasures that we all have. So we all have, we all have internal treasures, right? The soul has, you know, abundance of treasures. Like even in the last class when, you know, you were asked like, what is your one quality? You know, and recently also I was asking someone, what is your one quality that you stand for? Oh, I don't know. What is, how is that that I cannot know my one quality that I stand for? This is also important that I need to churn. I need to know what do I stand for? What are my qualities? What is my inner potential? What are my strengths? It's important to know my strengths. Right? So because knowing my strengths will always empower me towards, to move towards my destination. Even a warrior in a battlefield will always know his strengths. He needs to know his strengths. He must know his strengths, right? What he's good at. Because only then, when he knows what he's good at, only then he becomes an expert in those, in that strength. If he knows that this is the weapon I can really use very well, and so he's trained in using that weapon very well. So that becomes his expertise. So that helps him to conquer something, to fight against something, to experience success. Like that knowing our strengths is very, very important. Because only when I know my strengths, I, I know how to use them. I know my strengths and then I need to use them as well. So we all have a lot of strengths, right? God has given us immense potential, but how much of that potential I'm using it? Or are we just busy in our own little lives, this little work I did, and then, yeah, I took care of my family, I did this. Okay, I use my talents at work and all of that is wonderful. But that strength which I have when I use for, you know, for the spiritual self, for the soul and unlimitedly to others, it expands exponentially grows. So the key to unleash those treasures that I have is determination. So in the journey of life, I need to have that key with me. Why? Because in the journey to experience success, it's not always a smooth path. We all experience challenges, right? If I have to get to something, there are always challenges, something that I have to overcome. Even say, for example, if you think I should become completely anger-free, I don't want to have any kind of anger inside me anymore. Not even different forms of anger, right? Anger is the parent, but anger has many children, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> right? There is rage, there is agitation, there is frustration, there is irritation. Name it, there are so many, so many faces of anger. Say, for example, if you have that thought, I have to get rid of this anger. So in the process of becoming anger-free, there will be many challenges. Why? Because there will be again and again certain things come up 
where that anger keeps coming back, right? Such situations will come where I feel, no, I cannot become anger free, right? But it's always like that, that if I pass, you know, if I, if I climb one step, there is another step, right? If I pass one examination, then until I become perfect, there are stages that I need to conquer. Okay, I conquered my irritation. I, I don't get like really angry, angry. But yeah, sometimes I become a little agitated. No, but that also I have to conquer. Okay, I conquer that. But then there is also a stage where sometimes maybe I feel a little frustrated about something. Okay. Okay. Even that I have to cross. Right. Maybe in that journey, okay, now I'm, you know, I've crossed frustration, but maybe there is slight irritation somewhere. It's still sitting inside somewhere. It bothers me. It creates that sort of discomfort inside. So in this life journey, until I reach that stage of perfection, there is always something that I have to conquer or overcome. <laughs> And so in that process, I need to have the key of determination. It's very, very important. Because otherwise what happens, I can feel disappointed and feel like, no, I can't do this. It's very hard to become anger free. So in that process, yes. So never give up. In life, anytime you want to even, even like, you know, in relationships, when we are together, there is a lot of adjustments to be done because no two souls are similar. We all are very different. We all have different sanskars. And sometimes we feel very hard to work with others. Sometimes we have to crush our ego. <laughs> you know. I have to become very humble in that process. And so if I say, you know, I need to be determined that no, no matter what happens, I'm going to adjust. I'm going to move forward in this. I'm not going to give up. But as you have that determination, then naturally you will start to experience success. Naturally, you will everything will start to fall into your court. That's what it happens. When I have determination to do something, I want to do this, it's like law of attraction. Everything starts to come to you, come to you to make you successful. Or when I'm dull-headed, I don't know. You see, doubt. Doubt is something that will never allow me to achieve, never allow me to achieve success in my life. Doubt is something that will never allow me to move forward. Doubt is like a dark cloud, you know, that makes my vision blurry. And I think, you know, I can't do it. It's like it lowers my self-esteem, doubt. Anytime if I'm doing somewhere in my life, either it could be in relationships or either it could be you're doubting yourself. You know, I don't think so. I can do this. It's like you're lowering your own self-esteem. This is very hard for me. You know, self-doubt. The moment you have that self-doubt, it's like, you know, I can't see my destination clear. So doubt is something that will try to crush my determination. So doubt in myself sometimes I would doubt God 
Did you doubt God any time? I don't think so, God, you will be able to do it. Did you ever say to him like that? <laughs> Did you say to God, no, I don't believe you. You can't do this. Look what you've done. You know, look, you didn't help me. <laughs> we lack everything and then we keep blaming him. He says with determination, do it. No, I don't want to do it. I want everything free. It has to come to me. You have to give me. We keep ordering him. Why didn't you do this for me? You should have done this to me. <laughs> right? It's easy to actually blame him or doubt him. So we doubt him. We know that's why like some, you know, don't even like they lose that kind of faith or, you know, they, they think that, oh, we don't believe in God. Like some kind of doubt. And sometimes we even doubt time. Not sure if this is right time. Not sure what's going to happen. Before even it happens or not, I'm already programming it will not happen. I'm already creating that sort of thought. I am not sure. So how many times we say this, I am not sure. One thing Dadi Janki always says, we always hear in spiritual um, uh, uh, you know, lessons is that it's already happened. In Hindi, it's a very nice phrase, hua hi pada hai, means it already happened. All I have to do is unfold that part, right? It's a very good practice. Always, if I remember, if you're doing anything, right? It has already happened. It happened good. It will happen. But if I think I'm doing, this is my task and all of that, then it may not. But if I think that, yes, I have God's help. I have, you know, the time helping me, the drama helping me. You know, I can do it. It already has happened. That's another form of determination. This task has already happened. I'm just, again, it's like, you know, I'm making a clown of it. How, like, it's a duplicate. I'm already, it's already happened. I'm just unfolding it. So the moment I have a determined thought, that this is already done, I'm just repeating it. And it becomes easy for me. I've already, you know, dealt with this. It's nothing new for me. It has already happened or I already dealt. So one way of determination is also that I have success, I've experienced success already. So it's like success is guaranteed. That's another way of looking at determination. You know, success is guaranteed. So you're programming yourself like that. So what you're doing, you're breaking your doubts. You know, doubt in the self, doubt in God or doubt in time. And sometimes we also doubt others. Not sure this one, not sure that, not sure how. So the moment I doubt, that's again law of energy, right? Law of attraction. So every time I'm doubting something, that's what is happening. I am creating such energy. I'm welcoming such energy, you know. I don't know. I'm not, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to get well. Something has happened to my body. I'm doubting. I'm not sure how it's going to. No. No. Determination is it has happened. I was well. I am well. I'm going to get well. Determination is success is my birthright. No one can take success away from me. No matter where you are, even if you keep these little 
few key points. You see how well, it's like our whole thought pattern will change towards life or the things that we are doing. A whole thought pattern will change. Right? Like these elevated thoughts, these positive thoughts. Success is my birthright. Write it down and keep somewhere. I have success always. I'm already victorious. I'm already successful. It's not that I have to run for success. In anything. Then you see how you feel. Even sometimes if there are ups and downs, that's what determination means. Determination means it's not that when everything is good, oh yeah, yeah, I'm determined and something happens, oh, my determination went down. Determination is when there is a challenge, when there is something going on, I still have an unwavering commitment towards it. I will not waver from my commitment. Once I start something, that's it. I have to move towards my goal. Got it. It's like that unwavering commitment, that dedication towards doing something. No, no matter what happens. You know, in this, like, when, you know, in this organization, like, in the beginning days, in 1940s, um, when this organization moved from Karachi to Mount Abu, there were so many challenges. They were very young girls, you know, with our founding father, Brahma Baba. They were living in the forest when they arrived in Mount Abu. It's all forest. So they ex experienced so many challenges. Not only that, when this whole knowledge thing started, you know, people were, people didn't like it. They came to bang this whole thing or, you know, close the centers. What is this knowledge about? So many challenges. Brahma Baba, the founding father, always had a determination and that complete faith, no doubt, that not sure what's going to happen. He's doing everything. Hmm. So in the process of experiencing something I may have to face, but I have to always hold the light of determination. So your determination is your light that will take you, that will allow me to cross the tunnel of darkness of challenges. We all experience those challenges in our life. Right? But I have to hold that light of determination and walk through the dark tunnel without you know, without being afraid. Your determination is your light of courage that makes you move forward. Things happen, you know, we experience well, that's your strength. That's my strength. Determination is my, no matter what happens, I have to reach the end of the tunnel. I cannot give up. I cannot give up. I cannot be afraid of anything. But again, I'm going back to doubt. Do doubt will always make you afraid. I'm frightened about something. So I have to cross out the doubt. What are the doubts in my life? That, that I'll become alone or there is nobody for me or what will happen to me or maybe this relationship won't, won't work. Anything, anything. So many doubts. So today, look at your doubts. What is the doubt that pushed me back? 
that doesn't allow me to move forward. So determination, and again, going back to that, in the moment you're determined, everything will start to fall into place. When I have the key of determination, the power or the fire of determination, right? You can use determination as key, as light, as fire, as anchor. Yeah. So when you have that fire of determination, you can mold any tough situation. You can mold anyone's heart. Any kind of situation can be mold when I have determination. I have to stand straight. And not bend to give up in any situation. determination is that fire to mold anything so again I'll share one of the stories of Dadi Janki so initially like when she was in this knowledge and the training so she was with a, a few other mothers so they were all together and they were you know together studying and all of that so the the head person, the monitor of all those mothers or, you know, these Kumaris, the group was a very, very strict mother. So everyone would get scared of her. She was very, very strict. And so sometimes she would tell someone off. But when it came to Dadi Janki, Dadi Janki always focused on truth, on studying. You know, she didn't, she didn't go into any wasteful matters here and there, but she always focused. She was committed to her spiritual study. And so as she was committed to spiritual study, she would just study and, and the way she understood the knowledge and the way she was delivering the knowledge, you know, sharing and doing her homework. So this monitor who was there, you know, who was taking care of her and that strict lady, she saw Dadi Janki and then she melted. She came to her and she said that you understand knowledge very well. You seem to be a very committed person. Can you also teach me the way you are learning? And so somewhere she melted herself in front of Dadi Janki. So where there is truth, determination is also you're holding on to truth. Determination also means you're very pure inside. You're honest inside. Your efforts are very honest. You're not manipulative inside one, outside one. Or you're not like, I want to achieve something. I want to grab someone's opportunity. That's not determination. <laughs> I'm determined to take away your opportunity. No, that's not determination. That will never allow me to, you know. So determination is never connected to do something negative. You see, you know, that is somewhere like stubbornness or some kind of negative, uh, you know, way of acting. But determination is somewhere you want to be better you want to do something positive you're holding on to it's a very honest effort and when I have such honest effort to benefit myself in a true way and to benefit others that's when the universe will come to support me everything will cooperate but on the other hand, when I become too stubborn to achieve something, too stubborn, uh, you know, to destroy someone, too stubborn to create some kind of upheaval to some, somewhere or something, that will not happen. But that can become reverse and it can cause something wrong to myself you know, to me. So when we think of determination, determination is a very pure effort, very honest effort. 
Determination doesn't mean I have to be loud and I have to show. I have to show off, look, I have determination. No, determination is a very quiet effort. Internally, very quietly you're making effort. No one even knows how powerful you are inside. You may look very simple, very quiet. But only you know what in you know what a powerful brave heart you have internally. It's like very silently yet very steadily moving forward. That's determination. Determination is never loud. Determination is not ego. Oh, I can do this. I only can do this. I will prove. That is not determination. Internally, very quietly, you're holding on to something. Your anchor is, you know, is grounded. You're rooted. You know, you know your, your roots are very much grounded. That's determination. So when I have determination, I'm very grounded, but at the same time, I'm flexible, right? I am grounded in my, in my thought. I need to do this. I need to get this. This is, you know, this is the journey I have. So I'm grounded in my principles. I'm grounded in my honesty. I'm grounded in my effort. But being grounded at the same time, I have the power to sway to any situation. It's just like if we take the example of a bamboo tree. How does a bamboo tree look like? You know, it's very tall. It's very tall, but it doesn't break so quickly, so easily. Why? Because its roots are grounded, they're very deep. And because the roots are so deep and grounded, it shoots to even 90, 90 feet tall. And because it shoots to 90 feet tall and it's so grounded, it has the flexibility to sway to any storms of, of you know, any storms that they come. So in the same way in our life too, determination is like having grounded deep roots, but at the same time on the top, I'm swaying to any situation or any changes that are happening. Again, determination is not strong-headed. Uh, no, I will only do this way. I'm so rigid, I don't want to change it. You know, sometimes some are very determined to get somewhere or do something. And in that, in that process, if even a little thing changes, they cannot take it. Why this change has come? But change is a part of life. Every moment there are changes. This shouldn't be happening because I need to get there. There is only one plan. This is it. My way or highway, that's it. I have to reach there. That's not determination. Determination is grounded, I need to do something. But in that process, say for example, we are doing a teamwork, say we are working together, right? We are in a teamwork. As a team, when we are working, some, some could be slow, some may not understand so quickly, right? Some may make mistakes. But if I think this thing has to be like this, I'm determined, okay, this thing has to be like this. But in the process, I need to also adjust. Not everyone's sanskars are the same. And because of some reasons, it can be delayed. Or the way I thought may not come up. So determination also means that I need to learn to sway to the challenges, adjust and move forward. If I'm not flexible, then I cannot reach my success. 
So determination also means to be flexible. I'll reach there. Determination also means to, to bring everyone together and move forward. Not me alone. I have to get there no matter if someone gets or not. I don't care. That's no determination. Determination means I'm bringing everyone together. Chalo, let's do it. Right? We're all in this together. But sometimes some become like, oh, I'm, I'm very determined. Only I have to get there. I don't have time for anyone. <laughs> no, that's not determination. Sometimes you have to be flexible in the journey of where you have to get. Sometimes you have to address few issues or someone came for your help. I need to be available. Can't say, no, no, I have to finish. I have to get there. No. But at the same time, there is a balance. How much I become extroverted, how much I become introverted, how much do I sway on the top and how much I become grounded. There is a balance. Right? Sometimes it happens, right? I have to do something and then I don't have time for others or I neglect others. Why? For me, it's their journey. No, that's no determination. Determination is I'm taking everyone together. These are again not theory. These are practical aspects. If just think our founding father, Brahma Baba, if he thought only I have to become a good person, a, a divine person or whatever, right? I have to excel in this Raj Yoga. If he thought for himself, then we would have, we would not be here today. But as he was making his effort, he was flexible to everyone's sanskars, everyone's pace of life, pace of making effort. But he brought everyone together. So in a family, when we want to achieve certain things, but at the same time, bringing everyone together, spending some time being together, you know, caring for each other, these things are also very important. And somebody who is not my pace, having that little patience is also determination. We will get there. See, when we have that kind of attitude, naturally the determination will make me get there. But if I'm too stubborn and, you know, strong-headed, no, it has to be only like this. You can't do it and I push others back. Then nothing will support me. The nature will not support me. The drama will not support me. Time will not support me. So there are so many elements to determination, you see. Determination is not just, you know, okay, I take something and I run, run, run. <laughs> <laughs> so coming to your own spiritual effort. The moment you start to do something, always remember there are challenges. Remember there are challenges. But that's what is determination. I have to walk through those challenges. But in this whole process, remember you're never alone. I'm not alone. Who is with me? Hold God's hand. The divine experience, the divine presence in your life is always there to make you cross all hurdles in life. Really. Never give up. Because sometimes maybe I feel disappointed or, you know, I can't do this at that point. Hold. Hold God's hand. That perseverance. Always have it. He's always there to give me the solution. <laughs> always there to give me the solution. There is always solution for everything. I cannot sit with the problem. That's true. That's right, right? Why do they create a question? 
because there is an answer to that question. So if I think, how am I going to break this question? How am I going to resolve this problem? There is a solution. Always, for everything, there is a solution. I have to just be quiet mind and I have to think what's the solution. There is a solution for everything. I'm never alone. I can never stop anywhere. There is a solution. And I have to hold that solution and move forward. And that's determination. Determination means holding on to solution, not reasoning always why, what, how. You know. So solution, there is an answer to everything. Don't sit with reasons why. Oh, how? No, there is an answer. There is a solution. And so I have to apply that. So again, in the process of doing something or achieving, always take, take steps, break down. It's very important. You have a goal. You, you want something. Always break it down. You know, make it like smaller steps. Start with something small and then keep adding on to it. And then keep increasing it. That is also part of cultivating your, your, you know, your determination. It's not that determination means I have to suddenly jump and catch something. In one go, I have to reach that mountain. It's not going to happen like that. Right? Every step counts. Every step counts. So acknowledge your progress. That is determination too. So cultivating determination means you have to acknowledge your progress. What I was and what am I? Always check yourself. Right? Am I moving forward or am I moving backwards? In my thoughts, in my words, in my attitude, in my behavior, in my vision. Right? In my understanding, in my spiritual maturity. Am I moving forward or am I moving backwards? So always, always look, always acknowledge your progress. That's very important. Nobody will acknowledge. I have to acknowledge. Yes, I'm doing good. I have to do good and I will be doing good. Right? That should be the spirit. I don't know, you know, I'm not sure. No. Right? No matter how small it is, acknowledge, acknowledge your progress always, always. And determination also means learn, learn and improve. There is always something to learn in life. Right? Create that kind of roadmap no, there is always, always, there is something to learn in life. I can't say I'm very smart. I'm done with it. So even when you are thinking of becoming smart, you know, being smart, what is smart means? Uh, S stands for specific. M stands for measurable. A stands for achievable. R stands for relevant. And T stands for time bound. So set your smart goals. That's what people say in the world. You know, those smart goals. So be specific, measurable, achievable goals, not that something which I cannot achieve. You know, be relevant. What is it? And time time bound. Oh, whenever it happens, let's see, you know, keep that time as well. Okay. So I pause here and if you have any thoughts, any questions or any comments, you're welcome to share. Or maybe something that I missed sharing, something that came to your mind, please share. Excuse me, Sister Madhvi, can you please repeat SMART? Okay. 
it's specific, measurable, Um, specific, yeah, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sure. I was, my father always used to tell me about uh, to be determined, uh, determination. He always mentioned that to me. And sometimes I feel I don't have as much determination as I would like. I wonder if determination is just a thought in the mind instead of feeling it in the, in the belly and the, you know, the fire in the belly and the heart. I wonder if there's like a disconnect between the head and the heart and then you don't really have enough determination. Uh, it's your thought, basically. The thought your is your determination. I want to do this or, you know, I can do this or it has already been done. I'm just repeating it, you know. And so these kinds of uh, powerful thoughts that you're creating, your powerful thoughts are your determined thoughts. And that's what will drive you because your thought is everything. Your thought will make you move forward. But at the same time, as I mentioned, if your thoughts are filled with doubts, if you have a doubtful intellect, if you have a doubtful thought, um, then, you know, then it's not going to work, you know. So I have lots of determination yeah. is in your thoughts. Thank you. Mm -hmm. but Sister Madhvi, um when you are your, your doubts are always uh, interrupting uh, you know your doubts are always there uh, though your words keep on saying no it's going to happen i'll be able to do it i'll be able to do it but just the, the thought itself is just keeps on going towards that route oh maybe i'm not able to do it maybe i will not be able to complete it or something like that so mm -hmm. how to uh, tweak that thought even though the words are saying like I'm, I'm just saying to myself yes I will be able to do it but still you know because there is a thought there's always a fear that it's not going to happen because I'm manifesting that you know so mm -hmm. how do we tweak that mm. um, that thought so it's definitely you know if I mean, it's the repetition of thoughts, your positive thoughts will always, uh, um, you know, at one point will start to occupy your mind. You know, no matter if, if those uh, doubtful thoughts are coming because it's a habit, you know, because we've been thinking, um, you know, uh, having doubtful thoughts or, you know, doubting any situation or circumstance, whatever it is, it has become a habit inside us. But if you, you can definitely finish that doubt just with your thought, determined thoughts again and again. Another thing also about determination is, you know, surrendering to God, whatever you're doing, you know, when you feel, that's why, like, when you feel like you're going back to the doubt, really surrendering it to, you know, God will also help you, you know, to not to have those doubts. But it's, as I said, you know, any thought you can shift, but um, it's just repetition and experiencing that thought that I can. And, but it's not just like a mantra I'm repeating, oh, it will happen. I can do it. No, your thought is based on truth. Your thought is coming from a, from a deep faith that you have in truth. You're deeply, you feel inside that, yes, I can do it. You know what I mean? Yes, that, you know, it's like every, Everything, the universe, God, time is with me. 
and I deeply trust inside. It's the truth that is making you think, not from headspace you are thinking, I can do this, I can do this. Then I'm going back into my doubts, but it's coming from your heart space. It's coming from your understanding the truth. The truth that you deeply believe that this has already happened and it's happening again in the sense like, you know, I'm, I'm doing it again. It's nothing new for me. So it shouldn't come from just headspace, but it has to come deeply from knowledge. You know, understanding the truth is this and I'm following that truth. Got it? Otherwise, from headspace, definitely you will be falling back to doubts and, you know, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good thing you said that just surrender to Almighty, that he'll be he'll be there to help me. So I will be able to do it. Yes, yes, for sure. That is one thing. And, and that's why it's important to also empower yourself with knowledge, because knowledge always helps you to take make right decisions in life. You know, it allows you to see the truth very clearly, knowledge. Knowledge is very important in life, studying spiritual knowledge. Because based on that only you're creating thoughts, right? Because knowledge is helping you to create a powerful thought. So that's why your thought is backed up with the power of knowledge. It's coming from a true space. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So that's why, you know, if I don't do the groundwork of every day indulging in some kind of meditation or some spiritual study, some affirmations, and if I only try to do from headspace, this is not going to work. Nothing will work from headspace. It has to be from heart space, right? And that's where we, the example of, you know, making myself grounded, that's what makes me grounded, you know? So that sort of groundwork is very, very important to have the determination. Thank you. Again, it goes back to practice anyway. True, true. Anybody else would like to say anything or comment? Any questions? Hello, sister. Oh. Yes, Adriana. Hey, sister Madbi. Om Shanti. Uh, Om Shanti. I'm I'm um I'm feeling that um the knowledge has to do with um yeah feeling the truth right from inside and also having faith in oneself mm -hmm. right um having confidence in yeah from the inside out so i'm thinking it that way especially with the last part that you mentioned about uh a truth that is coming from within, right? Mm -hmm. That that is a truth that is coming from a special place within and that it's a, that is something that has already happened. Yeah, right. so I'm, I'm thinking it's also, it's also the feeling and the knowledge of faith. Mm -hmm. Faith and self-confidence, very good. Yeah. <laughs> right. I was gonna say also remembrance and keeping the that connection with God. Yeah. Yeah, that will definitely help. Remembrance and keeping connection with God. Yes. Absolutely. Very good. Mm -hmm. So shall we do a few moments of meditation together? A few moments. 
before we close. So I experience myself as a tiny point of light. I am a tiny, silent point of light. a soul a living entity the master of this body the senses who has immense potential. I, the soul, already has everything, all the powers God has gifted immense potential. I can see that potential inside me. It's time to unleash that potential. With only one determined thought, one determined thought, I can do anything. I can move the mountains. I can face any challenges with one determined thought. I am a powerful soul with deep potential. And I can do anything. I am God's child. I'm not afraid of moving through the dark tunnel of life. I am a powerful soul. with a powerful thought of determination. Nothing is tough or hard. And in this journey, I hold, I have the support, love, and hand of God the Supreme Being, the Eternal, Powerful One, is always with me. Let the storms come, but I have the power to protect the inner light. 
I am determined not to stop. I am moving forward and I will move forward until I reach my destination. There is no pause. There is no stop. Om Shanti.